Welcome to a highly anticipated Picks on the Bluff week 15 after a long, long off break. I'm your host, Richard Reed, as always, and this is my co-host, Sam Sprout, who feels crappy today. He does. He really does feel like crap. I guess it goes with the weather. It is a very nasty weather here in South Georgia slash South Florida. Well, North Florida. North Florida. Whatever. <laughs> so. But, uh, I, yeah, you can hear him. He sounds really, really crappy. All um, right, so we're starting off with the, uh, the Bengals and the Eagles, right? All right, you just want to get to the picks, and I'm going to go over. If you want to see who what the leaderboard is, go to Picks on the Bluff, uh, Facebook slash Picks on the Bluff. So let's go Everybody ahead. Everybody knows I'm leading. Yeah, yeah. That's the only Everybody thing. Knows it. That's the only thing you're leading. Uh, I hear you. Uh, <coughs> oh. Now I'm trying All to. Right, start it off. First off, our Thursday night matchup. The Bengals at the Eagles. The Eagles actually got a win after their nine-game lose streak. Or seven, I don't remember. But what you got here? I got the Bengals coming in at seven and six and the Eagles coming in at four and nine. I'm taking the Bengals. Taking the Bengals. Well, good choice. On um, That's what I picked. You know, I like to have the Bengals beat the Cowboys last week, I think. I can't remember. Now the Cowboys won last week by two points. Figures. And the Eagles just barely beat the Buccaneers, too. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Because I like, I don't like the Eagles' chances. I don't think they can win two in a row now. No. All right. Sunday game. Start off with the Giants at the Falcons. Falcons actually losing their second game last week to the Panthers. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, eight and five Giants going against the eleven and two Falcons. I'm more sick with Falcons on this. Uh, I had to think about it, but I think the Falcons will come off that loss and beat the eight and five Giants. Uh, the Packers coming off a win against the Lions in a blizzard game at the Bears. Green Bay coming in at nine and four against Chicago, eight and five. Um, I'm going to go with the Cheeseheads on this one. Uh, yep, the Cheeseheads are, they played well in the blizzard. It was very, a very interesting game to watch alongside the Amazing Race finale, which sucked, but I'm not going to say yep. why. But uh, I'm picking the Packers too. Uh, Redskins at the Browns with the Redskins RG3 as, you know, he got injured last week. <laughs> Yep, uh, um, seven to six Redskins going against the five and eight Browns. Even without RG, I think they can pull it off. <coughs> yeah, I'm liking the Redskins too. Uh, I, when you saw the backup quarterback actually win the game for them, and you know you see the Brownies they played the Chiefs last week. Even, um, well, even though they killed the Chiefs, I mean it's the Chiefs. They're two and eleven now. Uh, right. So I'm going with the Redskins. Uh, Vikings at the Rams. Vikings coming in at seven and six, going against the six and six Rams. I'm going with Minnesota on this one. Yeah, you gotta go with the Minnesota Vikings. It's uh, they're already talking about giving the MVP of the year to Adrian Peterson. So let's let's go with the Vikings. Now the Florida matchup. The Jaguars at the Dolphins. Jaguars coming in at two and eleven, going against the five and eight Dolphins. I think the uh, the Dolphins are going to take over. You know, being it a Florida, two Florida team matchup, I think I'm going with the upset here. I'm going with the Jaguars. It's, All right. It'll be a fun game to watch. Cause we'll probably get it here because we always get the Jaguars and the Atlanta games. But I'll go with the Jaguars. Uh, Buccaneers at the Saints. All right, Tampa coming in at six and seven, going against the five and eight Saints. I'm taking Tampa on this one. Uh, out of the household here, we had two go with the Saints, one go with the Buccaneers, and I was the one to go with the Buccaneers. Uh, you know, it's 
even with the Saints getting all their players back with their suspensions lifted, it's not going to stop the Buccaneers. Uh, Broncos at the Ravens. Ten and three Broncos going against a nine and four Ravens. I'm taking Denver on this one. I got a phone ringing in the background somewhere. Uh, What's that there? But yeah, I'm liking the Broncos here. Uh, Peyton Manning has really stepped this team up since last year, and the Ravens, Ravens giving up the loss to the Redskins for the backup quarterback did not impress me at all. Uh, yeah. Colts at the Texans. <clears throat> Nine and four Colts going against the left and two Texans with uh, the Texans losing on Monday night right there uh, against New England. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with the Texans anyway. Uh, yeah, the Texans got blown out by the Patriots. From what I Big saw. Uh, I got to go with the upset here again, Colts. I like how the Colts played the last few games. Uh, that big almost lost to the Lions, but they pulled out the last play. Uh, and then whoever they played last week to win again. Uh, but I like the Colts here. Uh, Seahawks at the Bills. Eight and five Seahawks going against the five and eight Bills. I'm going to go with uh, Seattle in this one. Yeah, um, Seattle with Pete Carroll, they played good all year so far. Uh, their playoff chances are high, and we'll see another win this week, maybe. Lions at the Cardinals. Lions coming in at 4-9, going against a 4-9 uh, Arizona team. I'm going to take Arizona at home. You're going with the Cardinals to end their nine-game win well, lose streak. Right. I, I can't do it. They're going to get ten losses. Uh, I like the Lions in this one with Matthew Stafford. Uh, Panthers at the Chargers. Both teams coming off stellar wins. Four and nine Panthers going against the five and eight Chargers. I'm taking the Chargers at home. Yeah, uh, the Chargers beating the Steelers. Uh, that was a very impressive win. The Chargers are going to win uh, at home. Uh, Steelers and the Cowboys. Steelers seven and six going against the seven and six Cowboys. I'm taking Pittsburgh on this one. Uh, pretty much toss-up game. I'm liking the Steelers as well. Uh, a divisional game here. The Chiefs at the Raiders. That's kind of like the Jaguars here with a two and eleven Chiefs and a three and ten uh, Raiders. I'm gonna take the Raiders on it. Now you know my team is the Chiefs, and I gotta I pick them here because it's this game is pretty much a co coin tip to coin toss up so the Chiefs might get a third win <laughs> that's sad to say this late in the season yep. uh, down to our Sunday night game the 49ers at the Patriots another prime time game for them San Francisco coming in at 9-3 against the 10-3 Patriots wait you gotta remember yeah. the 49ers are 9-3-1 yeah so I'm taking the Patriots on this one. Showing their, showing why you can't doubt Brady, you got to go with the Patriots on Sunday night in prime time. And finally, the Monday night game, the Jets at the Titans. Jets six and seven against the Titans, four and nine. I'm taking New York. Taking New York. Well, here's my pick. J E T S. Jets. 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 I'm picking the Jets. Tebow. 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 They're not playing them. He, he'll be there. He'll be there, but he, he, you know, they don't play him because of their coach. I'm pretty sure of it. Yep, so that uh, that wraps it up for the NFL. Uh, stay tuned for the bowl special, which is coming up probably later in the day when I post this up. So this is Richard Reed. And this is Sick and Sam out of here. Sick Peace out. Adios.